Hi, I'm Non from My Authentic Style, and this channel is dedicated to helping you find your authentic style. A quick note to say I'm recovering from a cold, so if I sound a bit stuffy, that is why. And now, well done on completing the Kibbe body types test. In this video, I'll be discussing your results, specifically how to read and understand them and how to use them to identify your Kibbe type. If you haven't taken the test, I recommend you check out the video prior to this one, where I take you through all 15 of the questions with images to help you better understand how you should be answering those questions. And after completing that, and for everybody else, you should have a sample sheet that looks something like this. How to interpret your Kibbe test answer sheet. Remember that the Kibbe system is a scale that measures how much yin, meaning the soft rounded aspect, or yang, the sharp angular elongated aspect somebody has within their body. Each answer going from A indicates this level of sharpness and or roundness. A is the sharpest, followed by B, which is sharp but with bluntness, followed by C, which is blended, D, which is soft, and E, which is lush, very soft. So your answers will likely begin to group themselves, which will help you to see where you fall. And depending on what the majority of your answers are, you'll be able to identify your Kibbe body type. Let's begin. If you had majority A answers, then you are a Kibbe dramatic. Now, every dramatic woman will look slightly different. This is more about the core of the image identity. So while it'll fluctuate from person to person, Every dramatic will have a dominance of sharp yang and vertical, meaning elongation. That's what makes it a Kibbe dramatic. You can see it in all three of these women, Alec Weck, Tilda Swinton, and Jordan Dunn. The Kibbe dramatic is characterized by a dominant sharp angularity. You can see that even in their facial features. Here, I have a picture of Tilda Swinton. You can see her sharp features and the what you may call delicacy too of her sharp bones. But because of their scale, they're not necessarily delicate as per Kibbe understanding. I see the same thing in Jordan's face. I see the elongation, I see the sharpness. She has a bit more flesh to me, but overall there's length and there's um, a lack of width, which characterizes the Kibbe dramatic. Here are some Kibbe dramatic celebrities. Most of the celebrities I'll be using are verified, but not always. Um, sometimes I think the pool of women that David Kibbe has used is limited and it can be difficult to identify yourself especially for people of color. So I've tried my best to add people that while not verified, I feel quite strongly could fall into the category. Now, I'm not David Kibbe, which means I could be wrong. So I'm always open to discussing it. But for me, these women are clearly dramatic. Alec Weck, for example, is unverified, but I can't think of another type that she could possibly be. She is textbook dramatic to me. And for completeness sake, I'll be adding every list of verified celebrities so that you can go and look at them and do your own research. This is a list of celebrities verified by David Kibbe or that he has said he believes would fall into the dramatic category. There's a star next to it. It means he hasn't seen these people in person to type them, but he has said that he thinks they would be dramatic. Okay, if you had majority A answers with some D or E answers, then you are a Kibbe soft dramatic. The soft dramatic is characterized by yang dominance with yin as a secondary feature. 
So that means they have the elongation of the dramatic, but on top of that frame, that angular long frame, they have lush yin. So these women tend to be both tall and curvy. The Kibi soft dramatic is categorized by a dominant sharp angularity with lush flesh. Again, Sophia Vergara is verified. Tyra Banks is not, but I believe her to be a soft dramatic. And Hannah Weddingham is also not verified, but I believe her to be a soft dramatic. Adele has recently been verified. And you can see this angularity and softness in their facial features too. There's a, a lushness that the dramatics we just looked at don't have, but there's still an angularity to them, especially on Tyra's face. Here are some women that I are either verified or that I believe are also soft dramatic. Notice how they fill out these dresses. You can clearly see their elongation, but also their curves. This is a signature of the soft dramatic. And here is a list of Kibi verified celebrities within the soft dramatic category. If you had mostly B answers with some A, then you are a Kibi flamboyant natural. It is the presence of both blunt elongation, meaning they have length and a long vertical line, but without the sharpness of a dramatic. So they also have width and their edges are blunt, not sharp. That makes the flamboyant natural. The flamboyant natural is characterized by soft yang, long, broad, and blunt structure with often muscular flesh. These women tend to have a athletic body build and Kibi has famously noted that the supermodels of the nineties, most of them were, were flamboyant naturals. I can see this here in Cindy Crawford's face. For example, you see the broadness, but you also see that there's some flesh on it, but I wouldn't necessarily go as far as defining it as lush in the way that I just did with the soft dramatics. Now, again, people's features will differ. Some women will be lush in their face and still be flamboyant natural and others will look more like dramatics and still be flamboyant natural. So don't hold on to one specific idea when thinking of a type. It's a combination of things and there may be outliers, but you still belong to that type. This is a general categorization. Here there's Nicole Kidman, Cindy Crawford, and Sierra. All of them flamboyant naturals. Nicole Kidman and Cindy Crawford are verified. Sierra is not, but to me, she's characteristic flamboyant natural. I see the width, I see the long vertical, and she has that athletic body, regardless of her weight. I even see this when she's pregnant and she's more lush, for example, she still carries that frame dominance. And here are some more flamboyant naturals. Tracy Ellis Ross was recently verified by Kibi and I had, I'll be doing specific analyses on people, but I always thought of her as a flamboyant natural. So I'm happy to see that I'm seeing what he sees, I suppose. She could be confusing because she is curvy. So you might want to place her in the soft dramatic category, but flamboyant naturals again can have a spectrum of how they manifest that flamboyant natural profile. It can be curvy. It can also be very, very thin in the case of someone like Gwyneth Paltrow, who someone may want to type as a dramatic because she is very her width is not as evident, but it's still there. Um, Princess Diana was also verified. So is Michelle Obama and Charlize Theron. And I believe Jennifer Lawrence is verified too. But here's a full list of flamboyant naturals that have been verified.
Now, if you had majority B answers with some D and E, you would be soft natural. The soft natural is characterized by the presence of both a broad and blunt bone structure, similar to that of the flamboyant natural, but without necessarily having the yang. So they can be much shorter and even smaller in their appearance. So they have that structure as well as a soft romantic undercurrent or additional yin that makes the soft natural. Because of this, the soft natural can appear as a much curvier type as compared to the flamboyant natural. And even within that curvy classification, that can also fall in a spectrum. For example, you can have the lush curviness of someone like Kat Dennings all the way up to the curviness, more athletic curviness of someone like Jennifer Lopez or a much more subtle expression of curviness in someone like Jane Fonda. Again, don't hold on to one, any one specific idea, just be open to the differences that can occur within each type. Here is a list of Kibi verified celebrities within the soft natural category. If you had majority C answers with some A, then you are a Kibi dramatic classic. The Kibi classic is characterized by a balancing of yin and yang, a blendedness, and an overall moderate and symmetrical appearance with a yang undercurrent that makes a dramatic classic. Remember that the key aspect of the classic type is proportionate and symmetrical. So these women will embody these traits, but then have an added sharpness to that. Just a slight yang influence. Here we have Gugumbata Roa, who is not verified, but I believe her to be a dramatic classic. And Diane Kruger, who is, as well as Olivia Munn, who is also verified. Here are some celebrities that David Kibbe has verified as dramatic classic. And here is the full list of Kibi verified celebrities within the dramatic classic category. If you had majority C answers with some D and E, then you are a Kibi soft classic. It is a presence of balance yin and yang and an overall moderate and symmetrical appearance with the yin undercurrent that makes the soft classic. So again, these women will be proportionate, balanced, blended in their features with some additional softness to their features and their overall body type. Here we have Lupita Nyong'o who is unverified but widely believed to be soft classic and I think so too. Kirsten Dunst who is verified and Marianne Cotillard, who is also a verified soft classic. Here are some more Kibi soft classics. And here is a list of Kibi verified celebrities within the soft classic category. If you had majority D or E answers with some A, then you are a Kibi theatrical romantic. The Kibi theatrical romantic is characterized by a petite frame, double curve, and a delicate sharpness. That makes the theatrical romantic. We're now getting towards the very end of the spectrum on the yin side. So these women are characterized by soft yin with a slight yang undercurrent. Now, while they have double curve, this doesn't necessarily mean that we would characterize them as curvy. If you watched my video on 
David Kibbe and the Kibbe system, we discuss what double curve means. For example, Selma Hayek has double curve and she is very curvy. So it's very intuitive for us to have put her in a romantic category. But Mila Kunis, who is in the same category, also has double curve, but she's not curvy. In fact, as we'll see later, sometimes the soft gamines have more of a curvy body than the theatrical romantics. So again, be mindful of those things when classifying or trying to put yourself into one category or another, especially if you have a romantic or I'm sorry, a curvy body type. Don't lead with that. These body types though are very clearly petite. In all of these women, I can see that they are small women. They have a small frame and that's an obvious indicator of yin dominance. This is also true of the gamine types. Here are some theatrical romantic celebrities. Notice here too how they again fall on a spectrum from Selma Hayek to Mila Kunis to Selena Gomez. Every type can represent in so many different ways. I will keep saying that because it's important. I know when I began doing this, I had an idea of what each type looked like because of what I believed was typical. And those ideas are helpful but especially if you're first trying to find your type, I think it's more important to almost wipe the slate clean and use these ideas as a way to help you better understand how to look at lines, but don't be fixated on any group looking a very specific kind of way. There's always outliers. And here is a list of Kibi verified celebrities within the theatrical romantic category. If you had majority D or E answers, then you are a Kibbe romantic. The romantic is characterized by extreme or lush yin. This is the softest or most yin end of the spectrum. So these women will have a petite frame, double curve and lush round softness. That is very obvious to see no matter their weight. There's just a delicate soft quality to them and often their curves will be prominent. Not always, again, always a spectrum, but most likely. Here we have Drew Barrymore, who is verified. Beyonce, who is verified, or at least Kibi has said he believes without typing her. Here is a group of romantic women. Again, take the time to notice the prominence or lack thereof of their curviness, although they're all verified romantics. And here is a list of Kibi verified celebrities in the romantic category. Now, if you had a mixture of A and B answers and D and E answers in such a way that it's unclear where you fall, they seem to be a mixed match of these. They're almost equal. You could be your answers in such a way that you don't know if you're more yin or yang. You seem to have both of these. Then you are most likely a gamine type. Within the gamine type, if you had a mixture of A and B and D and E and answers, but with slightly more A and B, then you are a flamboyant gamine. The flamboyant gamine is characterized by a small and compact frame with sharp and angular features. Starting with the facial structure of these two women, you can see that there's a delicacy and a sharpness to their features. There's also a petiteness. It's this mix of yan and ying with extra yang that makes a flamboyant gamine. Often the body type tends to a boy, boyish silhouette, meaning straight and narrow with a small bust, waist, and hips. 
Here we have Penelope Cruz, who embodies that smallness, that petiteness, as well as Audrey Hepburn and Kelly Osborne, who is who Kibby has said is a flamboyant gamine, but she represents a different manifestation of the type. Her flamboyant gamine is almost slightly curvy as compared to the others. So again, it always falls within a spectrum. Here are some flamboyant gamines. And here is a list of Kibi verified celebrities within the flamboyant gamine category. Now, if you had a mix of A and B and D and E answers, but with more D and E, then you are a Kibi soft gamine. The soft gamine is characterized by a mix of yin and yang with extra yin. And often this body tends towards fleshiness with a soft curvy shape. These women will also be petite. The soft gamine is characterized by a delicate bone structure and doll like facial features, meaning big eyes, fleshy cheeks and full lips. I want to again state that these characterizations are what is typical, but people look all sorts of ways within every category. As we can see here with these verified soft gamine celebrities. And here is a list of Kibi verified celebrities within the soft gamine category. Now let's quickly discuss if your Kibi identity can change. According to David Kibi, your body type or rather image identity cannot change. Weight loss and weight gain will not change which Kibi ID you belong to, but it can make it more or less obvious in some cases. Keep in mind also that women's bodies tend to fluctuate a lot and change as they move from adolescence into womanhood. And for that reason, Kibi recommends evaluating your body after the age of 25 to get the most accurate results. I do hope this helped. If you're still confused, again, please remember that you're in good company. Most of us were when starting out. What really helped me when the test, when I felt like I hit a, a blockade with the test was trying to reverse engineer my type by looking at the lines recommended for each type and trying them on me. I took pictures and I looked at those pictures and it became fairly evident which ones worked for me and which ones just looked very off on me. So try that. Within your own wardrobe, you can pick up the clothes that you love best and write out what makes them or what characteristics they have. For example, are they long or short? Are they drapey or are they loose? How do they fit on you? What silhouettes do they create? That will coincide with one of these categories to a certain extent, and you can start that as a process of elimination. And then with that understanding, you can take the test again and see if you land in a new place or the same place and iterate, reiterate as necessary. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like the content that I'm creating, or if you want to discuss anything I touched on in the video, please do so. Leave me a comment. Also like the video and of course, subscribe and turn on those notifications. I'll see you on the next one.